could be great weather if you want to get out there on Saturday. Uh, Sunday is the day that we're watching. That's when we could see some severe weather and Roberts monitoring this situation closely for us. Uh, and then we of course have that rain that could hit some of us rather hard tonight. Yes, but we just got some new model data in that oh. may suggest a little bit otherwise. But you know what I didn't see on that Farmland Adventures? Mutton busting. Oh. Yeah, everybody loves the mutton <laughs> hey, busting, right? No, it's a right? very specific event that, that for that, is correct. <laughs> but uh, yes, we do have a little bit of rain on the way for tonight and more rain for Sunday. That is why right now t Sunday is a severe day. We can remove this if we want to. If things change so much that it doesn't warrant a severe day on Sunday, then we will scale that back. But as of right now, all signs are pointing toward a severe day for Sunday for rain and thunderstorms developing all modes of severe weather certainly possible. Still a couple of variables in the forecast which we'll hope to have ironed out over the next 24 hours or so. We talked about all, mo all modes of severe weather, flash flooding, damaging winds, large hail, and even a few isolated tornadoes, not out of the question with this system on Sunday. Now, highs today, very warm in Fayetteville, 76 degrees. Meanwhile, in Fort Smith, it was even warmer than that. Look at their high today. My goodness, 79 above that average of 74 and really not that far off, just nine degrees off of that uh, record set back in 2003 of 88. That was a really warm day. Nothing like that now. 59 in Eureka Springs, 57 at Drake Field, 63 in Springdale, uh, 59. Waldron check it in there. Greenwood at 63, as is Hevener and Poto. Good evening to our friends in eastern Oklahoma. 59 right now in the Poto area. Now, the new model data on tonight's rain is really pushed a lot of the convection much further to the north, giving uh, most of northwest Arkansas very little rainfall. I think it's overdoing it. I think it'll be somewhere in the middle. I still, though, will say that if you're north or if you're south of Highway 412, you probably won't see anything. So north of Highway 412, that's the best chance to see some rain tonight, uh, but we'll definitely <clears throat> It looks like things are shifting a little bit further to the north. Then we are watching this cold front that will get in here for your Sunday and the model showing quite a line of thunderstorms. There could be some embedded severe thunderstorms within that line of storms that could make a big impact as we get into Sunday evening as well as maybe early Monday morning. Enhanced risk here for northwest Arkansas within that a significant severe risk for the entire area, especially Benton, Madison, Carroll, and parts of Washington County. This can be refined by the uh, Storm Prediction Center, but just keep that in mind. Meanwhile, lows tonight were mostly in the 50s. We'll rebound tomorrow back up into the upper 70s and lower 80s. Here's a look at that extended forecast, and you can see that's the uh, severe day, Sunday night and into Monday. Monday looks good before more rain is possible Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Same thing in the River Valley with uh, those uh, rain showers page Sunday night and into Monday. And then we're watching for more storms by the middle of next week with cooler temperatures. OK, but not bad. And thanks for staying on top of those models. I know they change by the second. So Robert, appreciate you.